beautiful marriage is supposed to be this amazing beautiful thing but you have to figure out those communication gaps and get them dialed in and that's unfortunately most people are so distracted and busy with mm. their lives they can't hone in on those communication gaps ron do you think marriages work you have to be uh compatible you know you have to it has to be the right thing and the problem is people get together not knowing each other and they try to make it work and they should have never been together to begin with so um that had does happen but marriages can be an amazing thing um once you learn how to work, you got to have a system. So for years as a service provider, I would never know when I was going to be home, never knew when that last job was. And my wife would always call me and say, when are you going to be home? And I'm like, leave me alone. Like, I don't know. And since I didn't know and she kept asking me the same question, it would make me angry. Ooh. Well, she didn't know that that would make me angry. She was just doing it because she wanted to know when to cook, start dinner. It was a good thing. She was like, I just want to make you a warm dinner. So there was that communication mishap. Mm. And the problem is there's too many marriages that have too many communication gaps. And you have to close those gaps. And it, it could be a beautiful thing. A marriage is supposed to be this amazing, beautiful thing. But you have to figure out those communication gaps and get them dialed in. And that's unfortunately most people are so distracted and busy with mm. their lives. They can't hone in on those communication gaps. When I like that. I do too. I will tell play. you this. I've been around all my married friends a lot. Ron was getting had to call his wife yesterday because he don't have service at the lake house. R.I.P. Lake House <laughs> service. Anyways, so he's like, hold on, I got to call my wife and we're leaving. And I was like, man, we don't have real good service here either. I was like, uh, just let's wait to get to town, you know, because mainly I didn't want to sit there while he was on the phone with his wife for 35 minutes. You know what I mean? I was like, ah, just kind of want to get home, you know? He's like, no, nah, it won't be no big deal. And I was like, shit, I can't drive because it'll lose service. So I stop, and it calls. It was like, boop, boop, done. It's like a two-second phone call. Yeah, I'm alive. I ain't got service. Well, how'd you call me this morning? Oh, well, I was on the back porch. There's a little bit of service there. Okay, well, cool. Uh, call me when you can. Done and done. Like, I expected it to be, you know what I mean, something way different, way different conversation. So... Yeah, you, gotta, you gotta have you gotta hone it in everything needs to be honed in but you could get with the wrong individual and you guys could clash and class and never get on the same page and you know that's what happens with the divorce rates that's why they're so high because they most people they're not looking at how can we make this situation better and as for a man it's how can i get better and serve my woman better and that's a hard pill to swallow mm -hmm. and we have to 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 know that ahead of time and we can make everything better so one thing that my wife gets or anybody really if you call ron while he's busy and extremely trying to focus whatever i'm focused on it has all my attention and if you interrupt that for a minute and it's not something important to me and what i'm doing well then you're going to get you know the side eye right but to them in that moment it was important so when you can realize that you could try to make the communication gap a little bit better and if they know that hey during these hours don't bother me don't interrupt me unless it's this important of a threshold and most people don't have the forward thinking conversations and it's communication. Think rules. Yeah. Spoonie, you think you can do that you think you can uh All not bother things. your wife what's that you, can, you think you can not bother your wife unless it's this threshold do you think you could put in that clear communication like hey Unless it's this, don't call me. Unless it's this, don't call me. Do you think you could do that for her and she could do that for you? you we both struggle with that. The one thing, the one thing I'll, for some reason, I always, it's like a, it's like a magnet. For some reason, I always feel like I just, every time I get the urge to call her, it's like 3.30. So it's always during the middle of pickup. It's always a bad time. But the other side of that is we have this exact same problem where something that's really important happens in her life. And she calls me and I'm in the middle of something. And, and I have to remind myself it's probably important because I do get frustrated. He knows. He loves to fuck with me. No, I'm not. I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm, I'm just I'm, saying, like, like he, you do like to mess with me. You know, when, I'm, when I get buried in something, you like messing with me because it, it throws me off everything I'm doing. But whatever. But anyways, <laughs> my, that happens. So we, we struggle with that, too. The, the bigger struggle for us has been um, the communications actually dialing that in and it's something we've really worked on the last couple of years 
we were in baby jail for so long that I think we didn't even have time to to look at that. We were just existing, especially with these twins, the last two, because we we were buried in starting this business and having two twins at the house. Hell, we just high fived each other most of the time for like two years, and now we finally come out of that. We're having a lot more conversations. We're having a lot longer conversations, and specifically instead of arguing, now we'll sit down and be like, "Look, this ain't going to be productive. How do we?" what's really important to you about this? And I'm actively trying to listen to the intention of what she's saying and what she really wants and not just trying to solve her problem that I'm hearing. Because a lot of times somebody gives me a problem, just like, well, let's solve it like this. And that's not really what, mm-hmm. what she wants. So I'm working on all those things. And that's what I meant by work. If you enjoyed this video, please, for the love of God, let us know in the comment section. Also, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you know every time a new one drops.